Hey friends, and welcome to a special episode here on the Vervain's Arcadia Creative Server. One of the things I love about the Vervain's Arcadia Server is that we actually have multiple servers beyond our survival server. I have said server too many times. Anyways, our creative world is a plot world, and people can claim up to four connected plots, or, you know, just a smaller set. But today, we're here to take a look at a very special event that's been going on here. Several people have taken part in a building competition using the theme, A Park to Wonder. And today, we are going to visit all of those plots and decide which one I'm going to vote for. Now, I was not planning to participate in this contest, but then I ended up helping out Pearl with her build, and so I have an entry in this contest as well. Obviously, we won't be voting for that one. Now, everybody has a unique name on their build contest plot, so we type in this command, and let's take a look. All right, so we spawn in at the edge of our plot. This is a cool little mountainy build. I love it. Hello, little armor stand dude. Okay, we can't interact, so that's good to know. Free drinks? Oh, don't mind if I do. Ah, uh, we are we're not flagged to do anything on this. Okay. Ooh. Oh, cafe. Oh, this is so cute. I love that all the seating is under umbrellas because it's raining. It's such a cute little pond. I love the frog. He's so happy. Look at him go. And that seems to be it for this plot. I love that we get to climb up the mountain and have a cute little spot to hang out at the top. So good. All right. The next plot we're going to visit is called Lost. <gasps> oh, we start out at a cave? That's fantastic. I love these kinds of like drippy stone formations. They're fantastic. <gasps> Ooh. <gasps> oh, it's so pretty. Let's follow the path. <gasps> There's a little bench. Side note, I love how many different ways there are to make seats in Minecraft. I love the bridgy bits with the the dripping foliage. There's there is a little trapdoor path here. Let's follow the trapdoor path. You know, I'm remarkably bad at anything that even rem <clears throat> see anything that even remotely resembles parkour. Can't do it. This looks like some sort of shrine. I was kind of expecting some sort of lore book, but apparently not. Let's see if we can like climb up any closer. Ooh, they've used two tall flowers, but cut off the tops of them. That's so cool. Now that we've kind of visited what we seem to be able to on foot, I'm gonna fly around just a little bit and take a closer look at some of these details. Like these top structures, I love them. I don't fully know how you make things like this in creative. I think it's a world edit thing, but it's a neat it's a neat thing to get even more like viney bits. This one's just so peaceful. I really, really like it. All right, the last one that I didn't work on is called Wolfie's Wolfie's Park. Let's check it out. Aw, cute! Now, see, this is a little bit more in the uh, park theme. <laughs> I love a good flower bed made out of coral. It's a fantastic thing. We've got a maze, a hedge maze. Oh, so cool. It's made out of a bunch of combinations of leaves, which is a really kind of cool technique. I love this tree. I, I will stop cheating in fly mode, but that the tree just caught my eye. It's so cool. I want to get to the tree. How do we get to the tree? There we go. Okay. And we've got more benches. Benches are just fantastic. Minecraft seating, it's just fantastic. It's very pretty and very serene. Now I just gotta find my way back out of here. Not that way. 
Now we'll take a quick little fly mode look at this area too. It's so symmetrical and like beautifully curated even with like, you know, organic things in it. And it's, it's, it's cool. I like that style. And now I suppose we should take a look at the one that Pearl and I worked on. I'm going to preface this by saying that Pearl is the one who came up with all the concepts and the lore for this one. Now this says, follow the trail down and do not look behind this wall if you want a dramatic reveal. And we come into the plot and we get Pearl's favorite disc. Along with my patented walkway style, apparently. And at the end of the walkway, we have a little down the hole drop. There are barrels present all over the build with books in them of lore. Find six before heading down to the cave. Happy hunting. In total, four journals, two unsigned books, and three scriptures. And if we walk through here, we get... A beautiful, beautiful view. Not gonna lie, I'm totally obsessed with this. So we've got lovely cavey things, an underground world kind of feeling. If we pop down into the water, we can get to some walkable and hoppable lily pads that take us to the center. And up here at the center, we've got a shrine. And the shrine is dedicated to the lost souls. And look at this thing. Isn't this gorgeous? Up in the top here, we can find a barrel with a journal in it. If we open up the journal, this says, The knowledge possessed by the creatures of the void is immense. We built and dedicate this shrine as our elders suggested to those creatures to ensure peace. Our expedition so far is successful and no disputes in sight. I am excited to see what else we learn. So, we've got some explorers, some ad some adventurers. Look at these environments that Pearl made. Like these these big flowers, they have so many details to them. So gorgeous. I'll give you all a little inside scoop here. The different flowers have different light levels according to their ages. And we are going to climb our way up into this biome and over here we've got another little station of some nature and we've got such a cool little mushroomy biome i love it it's so cute we come up under a ghostly tree and waterfall made by yours truly so this is the cave mentioned in the instructions about the lore so we won't go down there yet since we haven't found all of the journals but look at that statue it's so cool this says we are torn and unable to reach a decision should we explore deeper and see what lies ahead or stay above and return home we agreed on letting the elders decide for us but it seems like they cut contact our supplies are running low and we rely solely on the food from the cavern to survive if the trolley remains broken and no response is received from the elders, I've convinced Lana to go down with me. It might be our only hope of survival after all, since the Skyline said that an ancient source of power lies below. Things are heating up in this story, and we haven't put all the puzzle pieces together yet. I love the giant flowers and and the floaty the floaty jellyfishy things. They're so cool. Ooh. Did you spot it? We've got, we've got a little bit of detail over in this corner. And that sure looks like a lore station to me. Journal number three. Let's read this. How long is it before... No, I won't doubt. Thinking now is futile. Action is all that can save us. The elders have to make a choice and our lives hinge upon their decision. And it looks like we've got like excavating and storage platforms, but this is a bit of a pulley system. So what do you think might be up top? This looks rather like a base camp of sorts, don't you think? Now, as we were sketching out the lore to this area, we started thinking maybe it has something to do with the water because you can see that this upper area, the area above ground is pretty barren but you look at the well and we've got a lot of the same types of flowers that we have growing down below and all of that 
So our our assumption about the lore as we built it is that where they lived in the overworld, if you will, was devastated by something. And so they went underground looking for sources of life. Which brings us back to their exploration. Now, I'm not going to lie. I don't actually know where all the books are. Well, I'm not finding anything else. So, we're going to peek into this barrel. And this book is called Choice. Poised on the edge of a cliff, torn between ascension and demise. And caution is nothing but a word now. What a line! Jeez, caution is nothing but a word now. Remember always, there's power in knowing and a helplessness in turn. This will be your only warning. It's definitely a bit spooky. We fall into the cave. I love that there is no way to climb out of this. And down at the bottom, we find a pretty uh, dangerous looking shrine. All right, these books... We choose to make the decision ourselves. As a final attempt to go home, we are following the ritual the Skylanes told us about. Anything is better than a life of loneliness and seclusion, and maybe we can both get wishes and perhaps more than one life of freedom. So it kind of feels like these explorers have been promised something. Promised something by magic. And we all know the stories of how well magic goes when humans try to use it. There are some really cool details in here. Alright, let's see if there's anything in the barrel. Fate. How deep in the pit will you go? How far will you stray from your heart? So, considering the blood on the floor, I'd think that the fate of these travelers didn't end as well as maybe they had hoped. Just another walk in the park, you know. Now, all of these builds have been really cool, but I think I know which one I'm going to vote for. I am really obsessed with this plot. This plot is called Lost, and it really feels like you've wandered into some hidden world on accident. You made a wrong turn in the hedge maze over in Wolfie's plot. That's, that's my lore. You made a wrong turn to get to this one. That's what it feels like, you know? So I think I will be casting my vote for Sally's lot here. Now, I'm filming this in December while voting is still open. So the next clip you see will be from January after we found out who the official winner is. But I have cast my vote for Sally's plot. So let me know in the comments before going any further who you think is going to win. And who you think is going to win can be different than your favorite plot. So if you have a different favorite plot, tell me down below. Well, hello there, friends. I'm here coming to you live from the future. Or for you, I guess I'm the more present. But I'm future D for past me or something like that. Anyways, we have the results of voting in. Well, I'm excited to say that Pearl and I won with a margin of one vote. So if you see the shiny VIP tag next to my name, that's what that's about. I loved all the builds in this contest, and it was super cool to see how everyone interpreted the theme differently. And between you and me, our build was definitely a bit of a stretch from the theme. We really got a bit of all the possible interpretations of A Park to Wonder, and honestly, I want to wander these parks a bit more. Thanks for coming along, and don't forget to like and subscribe.